Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to connect up two controllers to a hacked PlayStation Classic. Because as you can see, there is a USB stick in the second port. Therefore, we only actually have one USB port that's actually available outside of the, you know, the hack requirement. And what you can do is get a USB hub. I've actually got a USB 3.0 hub. And I haven't had much luck with USB 3.0 USB sticks to hack it. But in terms of this hub, it works fine. It's just a, it's a relatively cheap Anchor hub. Anchor do, honestly, you know, do very good products. They're, for the most part, pretty cheap. And they're high quality, including their cables. No, this is not a promotion or anything like that. But if Anchor wants to promote me, they can. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do with the console in this sort of standby off state... You want to plug your USB hub into port 1. Then what you want to do is plug in your controller. So I've got two controllers right here. And I'm going to plug number 1 in. The order doesn't really matter. Plug in number 2. As you can see, we've got both controllers now plugged in. And what I'm going to do is turn the console on so turn this on and i'm gonna pick this up so you can see it on so this is the overall setup <laughs> you can tell that i generally don't play two player at all because this is still in the original sort of you know wire thing and the PlayStation Classic is going everywhere but it'll be fine so if we just use controller one to just click it that's all good so let's let it get to the home screen and if I show you I can move but if I was to use the other controller I'm clicking the button and there's no sound but if i do this one you'll probably hear that sound because i'm scrolling through let's go to tekken i know that is a two-player game it works with all the games that are two-player and if i was to click x did i click x yeah i did click x Just get to the main menu. So I'm going to choose versus mode. And if I click X, and you see we got one player and two player. Now, if we use this controller now, I can choose a character. So if I were to choose law, and I'll click 100% on the life. And then, if I use the other controller, sort of awkward because it's not properly untangled, here we have to see I can move the second player option. And now, now let's pick Eddie. There we go. And you'll see momentarily that I'll be able to control both players. One. So I am moving Law. Let's do his X and Circle. And okay, so this is the Law controller. So I'm just going down. As you can see here is the other controller now. Now when I click the move, it is moving Eddie. And let's do his famous excellent circle. Can we get an actual hit? Or... Yeah, there we go. I win. Eddie wins. Actually, I'm both players, so I win either way. So if you was... I'm just going to pause it now. If you was to actually unplug the controllers from the USB hub the one that's remaining in there will be no player one it doesn't matter if they were player two initially or player one and once you plug you know it back in the late basically the last plugged in controller will be player two and that is it that's how you use multiple controllers on a hacked playstation classic thanks for watching any questions feel free to pop me a message